Hello YouTube friends. I'm going to make um, a little uh, cooked thing. I thought I'd make it along with you. Uh, later today some of my family are coming over to help me move some heavy furniture. It takes more than just me to do it. And I thought I'd make a few snacks so that we can eat them after they've finished. Uh, so this first one is just using some bits of leftovers and it's a, a, a Nigel Slater re recipe and I had this leftover mashed potato and some uh, Brussels sprouts and spring onions, that's all it needs, those three things. Uh, and so I'm going to quickly uh, put all that together while I chat with you because I have got something else that I want to chat with you about. <laughs> so um, we don't need the potato just yet, but what I need to do is a very, very, very simple recipe. It was in one of the Sunday magazines um, over Christmas, in fact. It's a, like a bubble and squeak recipe. So first of all, I'll just put the pan on with a little bit of olive oil. So there's a splash of olive oil there. And what I need to do, uh, the sprouts are already peeled because these are leftovers. And what I need to do with them is just slice them a bit. So the, uh, the kids are coming over this morning to help move uh, a sofa, not a lime green sofa, <laughs> uh, but there's a bit of sofa action going on in the sitting room that they're going to help me do. I can't do it. So, um, but really what this video is all about today is, da 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 da, big fanfare, uh, it's the 50k giveaway. So if you've been watching the numbers, and I have, the channel has reached 50,000 of you lovely people sitting there on my lime green sofa. 50,000 of you. So I said in the live stream, I think, that I'm going to do a 50k giveaway. So once I've cooked all of this partially, then we'll go to the shipping room and I'll show you what's in the 50k giveaway and I'll tell you how you can how you can enter. So let's shove those into the pan there. Just need to fry these up for a few minutes. And spring onions, uh, it, the recipe says to use any greens. So you can use kale or cabbage. I mean, traditionally, bubble and squeak is cabbage and mashed potato left over, uh, cabbage and mash. And um, so, but in the recipe, good old Nigel Slater, he says you can use kale or sprouts or any greens that you've got uh, a few left over of. Uh, it is on, yeah. And now I'm going to do the spring onions. Now, in the recipe, it's very adaptable. This is a leftovers recipe, this. And so in the recipe, you could use onion, uh, half an onion, say, or leek is very nice in there if you've got any um, you know half a leek left or something like that so I'm just taking off the nasty outside leaves that are just a little bit worn it's a good I think this is probably a good recipe when you look in the fridge and all you've got is a couple of little bowls of uh, something left over <laughs> so anyway I think it's going to make a lovely brand new thing I'm just going to cut the spring onions up and put those in the pan as well. I'm just going to fry them up for a couple of minutes. So in the New Year's Eve live stream, uh, I talked about the 50k and I showed you the box that I'm putting together. And it's up in the shipping room and any time I have anything at all that I think will be... Um, would be good to go in the box. I just keep popping it in. So it's got bigger and bigger as the days and weeks have gone by. But I just, I'm just, i just so pleased that uh, the channel's growing like it is. And there have been people who've been here since the very beginning when I had 100 subscribers, uh, 500 subscribers. And now here we are. I mean, how has it got to this point, really? Um, I guess... Uh, the mysteries of the YouTube algorithm. That's what we have to look at there. I have no idea how that works, none at all. Now, I'm gonna put this potato in here. And I 
think what I might do, because it's been in the it's been in the fridge. This is just ordinary leftover mashed potato. I'll give it a bit of a mash with the old potato masher again. There we go, that's gonna work. And it had a bit of salt and pepper, but I'm gonna put some more in. A bit more salt. And a bit more pepper. That might seem like a lot of pepper, but it actually it really isn't. But anyway, I like pepper. Okay, so the I think the thing the I've made bubble and squeak hundreds of times before. I hardly need a recipe for it really. Uh, and I think it was just Nigel Slater's recipe that prompted me to make it. But the deal with the mash is it shouldn't be too creamy. It should be quite dry. Uh, and so not too much milk and butter in when you do it when you mash it and then it, it actually forms the cakes quite well So let's see how this is coming along. I'll move you along And we'll see how this pan's doing So that's pretty much it really I'm trying to make this more complicated than it is but I can't because <laughs> it's really really easy I guess at this point you could put all sorts of other things in if you wanted to make this even more um, special. Uh, what could you put in? I've got some mushrooms in the fridge. I suppose I could chop some of those in. But I don't think so. I think we'll just leave it as it is. And just as we're talking about who's going to eat this, who should turn up but one of the people who's going to eat it. Hello, John. Hello, what's this? All right, everyone. <laughs> we'll see him a bit later. Oh, you stir that for a minute. What else is in this? Well, in there, John, I didn't know he was coming so soon. In there is spring onions and sprouts. I'm doing a leftovers uh, meal for you. It's not a meal. Uh, no, I'm doing a leftover. No. It's a little snack. Not cooked yet. Well, I've only just put them in. Oh. We'll catch up with John in a minute. Tasty. Let's get a tray for them. I'm going to make really small ones. I've made 13. Are we going to be superstitious about making 13? I don't think so. They're going in the fridge now. Half an hour to firm up. You and I are going upstairs. Here's the box. It, um, it doesn't look very interesting at the moment, but I think I might bomb the outside with all sorts of stickers. Now, what have we got in here then? Oh, maybe I should keep it a surprise. But in here then, we've got some candles, we've got one of the bird kits, um, oh some cards, oh some more cards, at the bottom there's one of the calendars here, another little surprise. What I'm going to put in here as well, because we've just received the uh, order of tea towels. They're not packed and ready to go in the shop yet, but I'll wrap one up and put it in here. That'll be a nice thing. Uh, we've got some other things too, which are coming online in the shop, maybe in February or March. But there's one thing in particular that's very, very secret, and I'll put that in here as well. I just keep putting things in here, <laughs> and then I'm going to package this up and send it. Now, how do you, how do you be in with the chance of winning what's inside here? Every month we put out a newsletter and we do a prize draw for everybody who's on the mailing list. So 
I'm not going to do this on the mailing list, but that is one way. If you join the mailing list, go over to the shop. Uh, the link's always in the description. And um, you can join the mailing list for free. We send you one mailing a month, that's all. And it will tell you about what's going on here at the Last Family House, if there's any news. Uh, it'll tell you about the charity donation that I do every month. Uh, I, I make a donation to charity with your lovely, generous um, ad revenue. Uh, and then um, we also tell you about the new shop product and we give one away. So that's one way of joining uh, in, the, in a giveaway. But this one is going to be with a comment on the YouTube video that we're in right now. So if you go to the comment section and leave a comment, you don't have to answer a question or tell me anything particular, just a comment. And the comment generator that I use, um, it's a, you can just download an app and generate the comment from just this video, mind. Don't do it on other videos and say you'd like to join the prize draw. It's got to be this one. And uh, it, uh, it takes out multiples. So if you put 16 comments, it will just count you as one. <laughs> but the, there's all those other ways. And, and occasionally we'll do a giveaway over on Instagram as well. And we'll leave the link to our Instagram feed in the description below. All the links are in, in the description. So uh, and sometimes I do a giveaway on Patreon. Uh, so there's all sorts of places where I give give stuff away. But this one's going to be because it's you 50k people. 50,000 of you lovely people on the lime green sofa. The only thing you would have to be subscribed. That would, that's a given. I'll put on, in the description below, I'll put when we're going to actually close off the comments for this one. But comment away and you might win. I haven't finished filling it up yet. You might win all sorts of things in here. And I'll write a nice wee note in there as well on one of my cards and pop that in there for you as well. But for now, um, I, I can hear the door just open downstairs. So that means there's more of my family arriving to help me do this bit of furniture rearranging. And then we're going to have lunch together. So I'm going to go and fry off those um, bubble and squeak nuggets that I just made. Uh, and um, I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. I'll see you downstairs. Mm -hmm.